Hi, Leo's. Let's see whose energy is coming forward for you. Let's find out what they're thinking. But we also want to find out what their intentions for their next move or action in your connection or relationship will be. If this reading doesn't resonate, check out your moon, your Venus or rising. Sometimes those resonate better. I also do the wild card reading. So you could check that one out if this one doesn't resonate for you. Are we too dark, guys? Ooh, let's see if I can get a, a tad bit more light. See if that helps. Maybe that'll help. Okay, guys, let's jump into the reading. I'm using the fairies, and lo and behold, my Leos have gotten the something wild fairy. Something wild is in the air. Something is changing in our ordinary mundane life. Something spectacular is getting ready to happen. Yes. The boring routine that we feel like we've got going on in our connection. Something is being stirred and shaken up a little bit. So we're being told to pay attention. Woo. Let's go ahead and jump in. We are using our first cards. Is the soulmate attracting and nurturing loving relationships. Let's see how these messages play out for us. First one. A profound transformation has taken place in your life. Be yourself. You have much to offer the world just by being you. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship and love life. Oh, transformation. A profound. That's our something wild. Something different is occurring in our connection. Hmm. Love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. I will soon clear. Oh. I like that. Your spiritual awareness is growing and so too is your sexuality. Sensuality is heightened and this has a magical effect on the one you love. Wow, okay. A sacred union is reborn. Love is the present moment. A sacred union is reborn. Reborn. Ow. Our, mm, something's shifting in our connection. Yes, it is something different. First cards, we're going to pick up your energy from your person's perspective. This is how they see you and are perceiving you, not how you actually are or how you think you are. It's how they are perceiving you. First card. Ooh. Ace of Cups, you are full of new love. A new love. Passion, blessing. Ow, oh, your heart's bubbling over. Ooh, okay. Energy between us, a six of cups. The past, we got a history together. This is a card of nostalgia. It can be reminiscent. Sometimes it will indicate we have children or that children are involved. But, ooh, we're definitely shaking up the pattern of what we have built over the past in this connection. Yeah. Oh. Their energy. Aquarius, a star, hope, and faith. Aquarius energy with my Leo. How does that play out? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Aquarius with a Leo energy, whether it's your person's energy or not, it's my God's way of letting, helping me to tap into the energies going between the two of you. Um, with a, an Aquarius energy, the first thing that pops into my mind is sometimes Aquarius can really hurt Leo's feelings on a deep level sometimes. Because uh, Aquarius will be a little more impatient with Leo energy. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just, yeah, they can hurt our feelings over time. And make us feel like we're a little, how I put it? Uh, like they're neglecting us a little bit of some attention and things that we actually need in a connection. So, yeah. It's a challenging energy. Um, but any challenge can be worked through. So, yeah. 
But that's the that's the one thing that really pops for me is uh, them hurting our feelings a little bit. So yeah, for naturally being us. So yeah. Hmm. Let's go ahead and read the energies coming under you on that Ace of Cups. Your heart is bubbling with something. We have a Six of Swords. Woo! Woo! That's movement, travel, moving away from the storm. Uh, what did our card say? All will soon clear. We're moving away from a storm. Yeah, but we are taking some kind of action moving forward on something. Energy between us on that. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. A balanced, harmonious relationship is what we our energy has us moving towards. So, yeah. See a person's energy. Five of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Leos. Your person really thinks they're getting ready to lose you. Or they may have already pushed us away. So like I said, uh, the first thing that pops for me on that Aquarius Leo energy is hurt feelings. Hurt feelings. More so that Aquarius has uh, hurt our feelings or, you know, done something to make us, you know, a heartbreak, sadness. So, yeah. Mm, they are really worried they have, uh, they're losing, that they're losing you. Energy back over here on us under the Six of Swords. We have Justice Libra energy balancing the scales, balancing the scales. Oh, okay. Because we got the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is about being in balance and a harmonious give and take kind of relationship where we're flowing together. Uh, the Lover's card is more about commitment. Our two of cups is you know the everyday compromises and sacrifices that we make for the relationship to keep it in balance so yeah mm. let's keep going here what's coming in under the two of cups the magician card Ooh, magician card moves definitely your person thinks you are doing some magic or manifesting something oh hmm Coming in under their five of cups. Six of cups. That's our second six of cups. Either we do have children between us. If not, it, then it's just our history, our past. What we have built together. What's become routine, uh, normal habits in our connection between us. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's keep going. Your energy under... Uh, the labor energy. We've got the lovers. Bam. <laughs> Leos. Leos. Oh, lovers. Hang on to that because your person is picking up some energy that you might be interested in. Someone that can show you a little more love and affection and attention and make you feel really good. Yeah, they're getting concerned here. Energy between us. Page of Swords. Ow. They don't know what to think right now. Their way of thinking, the boxed-in way of thinking, has actually changed. Changed for them. Ooh. Now, uh, and what I mean boxed-in is how we've come to uh, the habits, the, the routine things, our routine, normal, mundane interaction, daily interaction. Your person got in that narrow-minded way of thinking of this is how you are. And all of a sudden, there's something in your energy that's changed and got them going, whoa. Whoa. Change is scaring them. They've come out of the boxed-in way of thinking. Uh, come away from the king's way of thinking. He's very narrow-minded. Uh, this is how everything is. Blah, blah, blah. And sticks to it. Our page is more open-minded. <laughs> yeah, of different possibilities. So, yeah, and our king is actually the masculine uh, Aquarius representation. So, he definitely put, have pulled your person back into um, a new way of thinking. Coming out of the box of maybe this isn't how my person is. Maybe my person is a little more mysterious. My Leo is a little more mysterious to me and I don't know him as well as I thought I did. That kind of thing. So, yeah, their energy. Three of Pentacles. Oh, the blueprint. Working together on something. Ow. Mmm. They are definitely questioning because, yeah. 
what you have built together and how solid that is. And if you're getting ready, if you're getting ready to actually um, go after something, something or someone that will make you feel much happier. <laughs> that gives you more time and attention and compliments you a little more than rather than uh, just talking about the things that uh, annoy them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's read the energies going across. We're using the Island Time Wellness coming across your energy. Oh, seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up. Temptation, third party interference. Oh, your person that might feel like there's a third party or that you, you might, your energy seems to be shifting into where you might be, you know, hooking up with someone else. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whether it's true or not, your person's perceiving it and it's having a profound effect on them. It's grounding them back to a wake up call. <laughs> wake up call. Energy between us. Heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Yeah, the wake up call for your person is, uh oh, <laughs> I may have ruined a really good thing. And I and they're wakening back up to <clears throat> why they fell in love with you instead of why you get so much on their nerves. Yeah, they're waking up, going back to the youthful way of thinking and, and seriously taking a second look going, Mm, wild thing, wild thing. Something's different. Something's different. Maybe my person isn't the person I thought they were. Maybe they are. There's more to them, more depth to them than I took time to get to know. Mm -hmm. Woo, let's see their energy. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Ow, Cupid's arrow. Yes, a reawakening. Most definitely. Whatever you're doing, Gemini, keep doing it. Just be yourself. <laughs> and whatever your energy is emitting right now, stay with it. Because <clears throat> your person is like seriously going over of how I've uh, misperceived, how I've overlooked, how I've been neglectful, and how I'm think I know my person so well when I really don't. There, there's more to them than that. And I want to get to know that more that's to them. So, yeah. Oh, I love that. Let's see what their uh, intentions or the next actions they're going to want to take in your connection. First card, we have a King of Wands Leo energy. Dang, yeah, Leo, they taking a second look at you. Mm. Next one, death card, Scorpio energy. Changes, they're observing changes that are happening in you. Or they're sensing that you're changing somehow. Next one, three of wands, ow, moving forward. Moving forward. And that actually has, you know, your person standing there going, is my Leo leaving without me on a ship? Or are they coming in to me? Am I losing my Leo? Yeah. Next one. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. This is about disarming us. This card tells us we've got a victory. But what at what cost did we get the victory? This is your person. Stop, they're stopping and reevaluating how they have hurt your feelings, what they have done to push you away from them. No matter how well their intentions were meant, what did it? What did? How did they make you really feel? That kind of thing. Oh, let's go ahead and pull the romance angel oracles because the action right now is really no action uh, other than self evaluating what they've done, uh, how they may have hurt your feelings, wondering if you're getting ready to leave <laughs> because there's changes. So right now I'm not picking up an actual action they're taking. Let's use the Romance Angel Oracles. We'll go back across them and see if we can get any more detail on the King of Wands, our Leo energy. Separation time apart is on the horizon. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That's what they're worried about. 
Coming in on a death card, that Scorpio, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. They're very worried there's someone else that has triggered you. Uh, that uh, you find more appealing, you know what I'm saying, a new love. On that three of wands, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They may be considering... How, uh, how tangible material things are affecting your connection, but it's factoring in somehow for some of us. Uh, either I got a feeling it's there's they might be saying they can't focus on work because they're so focused on this new energy that you're admitting of I can't figure out what's going on. We did have a jumper on one, two, three, three, the third one soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh my god. Yeah, your person is waking up to, I don't want to lose my Leo. Uh, coming in on Five of Swords, we've got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. They're trying to stay optimistic, but like I said, they're going back over. Uh, how rude, how they have took you for granted, how they have took for granted that they knew you so well and all that. And really just... What, how they've hurt your feelings. I don't know how else to put that. It's just plain and simple. What did I do? What have I done? Let's go ahead and pull our uh, power of surrenders. Let's see what needs to be surrendered in this connection. Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and the easy times keep surrendering to more, more joy. Woo! Yeah. Yes. The random acts of smiling in your person will be like, why are you smiling? We don't never smile. Why are you smiling? You know, it's like guys, you know, when, when you could, you know, call them by their first name after you've been in a relationship and you normally always call them babe. And all of a sudden, you pop their first name on them. They're they're like, what, what, what happened? Why, why, why are you calling me by that name? It's not my name. What did I do? Something wrong? Yeah, random acts of smiling. They're picking up little things from you that's got them unnerved. Keep doing what you're doing, cause yeah, it's waking your partner back up. Next thing to surrender is. Surrender resentments. Oh, holding on to resentment only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Resentment. Shortcomings. That, yeah, nee. That's our Aquarius Leo energy. Aquarius will be more prone to point out all of Leo's shortcomings. So, yeah. Oh, which hurts. It hurts. It's like, day, really? Let's go ahead and pull some messages. Which deck am I being drawn to? Let's go ahead and do, yeah. Let's do the index cards. And guys, y'all know I struggle with these. If you hear me cursing a little bit, trying to shuffle them, forgive me. They're hard to work with. They stick together. This is for my Leo, their person. Can we get their person to speak through the deck for us? Mm, brief message for my Leos from their person. Oh, we've got two. I'm worried there is someone else. Yeah, they are. Whether there is or not, and it's okay. Let them keep thinking that for a little bit. You confuse me. You very. Yeah, why are you smiling? Why did you call me by my first name? Oh, Leo. I like that. I wish things were different. Oh, now we're popping in on them, that introspection they're doing. Because I'm wanting to say not things. I'm wishing I had, can, I was different. Yeah. Wait. Slow down. Don't make a choice yet. Don't, don't choose to walk away from me yet. Yeah. Let me shuffle again, guys, and get it going here. It's for my Leo and their person. Please don't let me drop the deck. Leo and their person. Oh, we got one that hit the floor. Let me grab it, guys, because y'all know when they hit the floor, they're the good ones. <laughs> uh -huh. 
What does it say? Ooh, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I feel so intimidated. Ooh, they feel so intimidated. Let me shuffle again, guys. Mmm, from all the eyes. Oh, yes. mm, we're going to take this. They stuck together. We're going to take them. I'm working on myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. I'm working on myself, Leo. I have true feelings for you. Uh -huh, and they're bubbling back up. Real feelings that I had forgot that I had in this connection. Yes, let's switch decks. Which one do I want to do? Let's do conversation with counterparts. I love these guys. Let's do that one. It's for my Leo. It's from their person. I'm rediscovering who I am. Mm -hmm. I, I also want to say they feel like you're rediscovering who you are and it's triggering them to rediscover who they are. Mm -hmm. My love for you never fades. Mm -hmm. And I also want to say I'm hoping it's not too little too late. <laughs> I'm afraid I made a mess of things. Oh, yeah, they are. You matter to me. You matter to me. Yes, you do, my Leos. Mm. We're on time. We're on time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Your love is intoxicating. Oh, Leo, you know it. Mm. I can't believe a love like this exists. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying not to drop the deck. Bottom energy. You feel like home to me. Uh -huh. I don't want to lose you. I'm beginning to understand this connection. We're going to take that one too. That felt right. Oh, and that one's feeling right too. My world is turning upside down. This one also feels right. <laughs> I want you in my arms again. <laughs> Guys, we're going to pull the whole deck. I love you. I love you. Yes, they love you. Yes, they do. Let's pull one more deck and get a few more messages, guys. Which one? Let's go with the butterfly deck. Let's do the butterflies. Transformation. Because whatever we're doing, we're causing a big shift in energy in this connection. Yes, we are. I really want to make love to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hang on, let me get it shuffling here, guys. I really need a desk where I can shuffle over it instead of in my lap. We'll work on it there, guys. This is for my Leo's from their person. Oh, there it is. I feel overwhelmed. Yeah, I feel... What did we get? Didn't we get one that said, I feel, in, yeah, the one that hit the floor. I feel intimidated and I feel overwhelmed. Oh, they're getting, going through a uh, roller coaster of emotions right now. This is the real me. This is the real me. I know you are the one for me. Yes, they do. Mm. Let's do the bottom energy. No one makes me feel the way you do. Oh, I'm not feeling that one, so yeah. <laughs> but in case, just in case it pops for some money, I, I wish I could be honest with you. So yeah, let's shuffle one more time. Give them a chance here. A couple more messages. Anything else for my Leos? And there we go. I feel that one slipping. I'll do whatever it takes to make this work. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, oh, tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Mm -hmm. Okay, my Leos, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love, light, many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel.
I'll see you again next time. Bless be.